everyone. My name is Lizzie. Welcome to Star Starshine Tarot. Oh my goodness. Um, a little flustered because I got a new kitty. Her name is Gaia. Um, someone at work found him, her on his property. He lives in the country and sometimes people unfortunately drop their animals off. And she was one of them. So she's very friendly and sweet. She's checking out her new digs right now. Um, I actually already filmed um, just the intro and I was getting into file one and then for some reason my laptop cut out and I lost it. So I'm actually starting again. <laughs> so this is a pickle pile. I'm going to look into your relationship. What is the current full status of your relationship and that I mean is it healthy? Where are you going from here? What are you both thinking and feeling? Is this um, something that you should you know, bank on, if you will. I'm going to crack open what's going on with both of you. We're doing Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine full spreads with something done live, because you know I like to do that. Um, so, I'm going to hold up three stickers, and when you pick your pile, just go to the description box below and find the timestamp. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. It does help me grow. I appreciate it so much. I want to thank you all for watching, and a big shout out to all of my subscribers. I love you so much. Thank you for believing in me and going on this journey with me, and I'm so happy that I'm finally in a place and I, I can just put stuff out all the time now without distractions and speaking of that I'm going to be doing a giveaway um, next Friday which um, is a little over a week but this Friday I will be doing an official video on it telling you what it is how to enter you do have to be a subscriber um, only picking from my subscribers it's to uh, congratulate making 200 subscribers even though we're almost at 300 now um, I'm a little proud of this because I don't, I mean, not a little proud of this, I'm a lot proud of this because I don't advertise, like, I, I'm i still in, like, practice mode, and I'm really about to step my game up here and go on all platforms of social media and relaunch Starshine Tarot because I feel like I'm finally comfortable, um, one, in my environment and in my skill level to really make this my thing. Um... And I'm still working on my book, although I'm stuck. I'm I'm literally written chapter two like 14 times. It's just hard to explain what's going on in the book. So I have a lot going on. I'm gearing towards, um, I need to do a lot of research. I need to find a proper, like, social media management team or, or at least take some classes so I can do it myself so there's going to be a level of planning however I'm still going to go full bore I'm probably going to be starting uh, extended readings which means I'm going to be cutting down my readings just a little bit um, I think people with TikTok and stuff, hour-long videos is kind of like not people's stuff anymore. They want information faster. So I'm overall going to be working down cutting my videos, keeping it more professional. Um, not that I'm like hiding my journey, but I regret ever like now that I'm single again and like all this whole journey, I'm glad I shared it, but at the same time, it's like, I don't ever want to let someone in the sphere who isn't the real fucking deal. So I'm never going to talk about my love life again <laughs> unless I have, you know, it's, I know that person's going to be there forever. And of course, then I'll talk about it because it'll be memories when I'm like 90. <laughs> but anyway, so pile one, we're doing the space kitty in honor of my new cat, Gaia. And pile two is the owl. And pile three is the unicorn. I'll hold them up one more time. Pile one is the astro kitty. <laughs> pile two is the owl. And pile three is the unicorn. All right, go to the description box below and I'll see you at your pile. Thank you so much, everybody. Hi there, Pile One. You picked the Astro Kitty. And unfortunately, 
when I started to film this, I had just done your cards and your fortune cookie tarot, and then it cut out. So, I don't have anything live for you, even though I did this live. However, you have a lot of information coming at you. I'm going to do Divine Feminine's full scoop, and then I'm going to do the Divine Masculine, and then I'll answer the questions if it's healthy, if it's going somewhere at the end for you. I will timestamp if you're just only interested in your side or your person's side. I'm going to put Divine Feminine in the timestamp, Divine Masculine in the timestamp under pile one. So, without further ado, let me mark the Divine Feminine. We're starting at 540. Alright, so, Divine Feminine, your channeled messages. I didn't draw too many, only three for each of you because you have a lot of information coming at you. So here we go. You got me all in your feel, in my feels. Everything you do is cool and inspiring and I can't get enough of you. I can't stop looking at you. I can't stop thinking of you. I am obsessed with you. I watch your social media every day to see what you're up to. I'm drawn to you so much right now. So a little bit of soccer energy on the Divine Feminines, but I feel like it comes from a level of they're seeing a glow up or like maybe you work at their job and you're just like doing a really good job. Whatever it is you do for work, um, I don't know if you're like an influencer or if you're very popular, like you're a very, you have that spark, you have that it fact. Can you see Gaia in the background? Isn't she cute? I love her already. She's on my other tarot table. <laughs> Hi Gaia, how's it going? You enjoying your new house? There's a lot to look at, hmm. She's like, I don't know where to go. There's so many places for me to roll. <laughs> you broke my heart when you pushed me away. You treated me like I'm not good enough, like I have no worth. You're everything to me and you just tossed me away. I'm devastated at your cold and cruel ways. You broke me apart. Ooh, rejected by the divine masculine. Or you might have like entered another relationship and didn't get in a relationship with this divine feminine or they just feel that way. There's some kind of sense of betrayal and deep hurt here. Definitely expressing some angry words and if it's not angry words, they're upset with how they were treated like they weren't a priority or like they didn't shake you up too. <laughs> so we have, I fight, I have to fight myself not to just come steal you away so I can run away from this life. I no longer want and you can be free of your situation too I dream so much of me and you so maybe you both have karmics or this could have been past energy this could have been a trigger for a reason why they broke away from a karmic recognizing that no matter what they do or feel Gaia you okay I'm sorry guys, it's literally her first day here. She's only been here for like an hour. So she's probably like, where am I? Hey kitty. Can we not do that? Oh my God, you're a scratcher? What kitty is it? <laughs> I bought you a scratch over there, pretty girl. Hey, you're just gonna do that to everyone? Yeah, how come? I don't like it. Thank you. That's very nice. <laughs> she went to do the ottoman and then looked at me like, sorry. <laughs> I like you already, Gaia. <sighs> you can't control cats. They do what the fuck they want. <laughs> That's why I respect their energy. Let's get their fortune cookie tarot. We have long distance. Okay, so you're definitely separated in separation or live far apart. We have Leo. They could have sun or moon in Leo or be a Leo. Taking on the courage, courageous energy of Leos. I'm with a karmic. Ooh. So either this is past tense or current. They could be with someone. Cancer. So they could be a cancer as well or have that in their chart. I can't believe you like me back. Ooh, so maybe they just realized that maybe they were wrong in thinking that you didn't really care. I feel a warming up energy. 
It could be a recent past as well. I never felt this way before. What is this between us? They can't figure out why they can't get over you, basically. <laughs> Peace. I want to call a truce. So yeah, this person is no longer in the energy of being mad and upset. I think they do want to make peace here and really figure out what is going on. We have Mars, ooh, willing to fight for this relationship. <gasps> and they think you're their twin flame. If they're into that stuff or they're just recognizing they believe you to be a soulmate. Oops, that's so bad, masculine. So we have three songs that the Divine Feminine um, would dedicate to the Divine Masculine to help me understand how they're feeling. We have Aaliyah, I miss you. Aaliyah died on my birthday. It was a horrible year. I think I said this before, but that's a, what I think about now. When I think about her, like I cried so hard that day. Ugh. It's been too long and I'm lost without you. What am I going to do? Said I've been needing you, wanting you, wondering if you're the same and who's been with you. Is your heart still mine? I want to cry sometimes. I miss you longing for you divine masculine that's why they're stalking they miss you so much we're trying to see if you're single if you're happy with where you're at um if they lost you forever if they lost their chance bruno mars when i was your man my pride my ego my needs and my selfish ways caused a good strong woman like you to walk out my life now i never never get to clean up the mess i made Oh, and that haunts me every time I close my eyes. So it doesn't have to be a woman. You can change it to man. So they're definitely recognizing that they feel they fucked up and their own behavior and their own character put a wrench in this. Or maybe their baggage, they couldn't let you in. Ooh, Christina Perry, A Thousand Years. I always think about past lives when this song plays. I feel like <laughs> it's a connection to my own twin flame. Um, this Divine Feminine, I feel like a lot of di Divine Feminines at this time are really seeing a lot of past life stuff. And Divine Masculines are seeing a lot of futuristic things. Because you need both ends of the spectrum to be well-rounded when you enlighten and come together. I don't know what that kitty's doing, but it sounds like she's having a ball. Time stands still, beauty in all she is. I will be brave. I will not let anything take away what's standing in front of me. Every breath, every hour has come to this one step closer. I have died every day waiting for you. Darling, don't be afraid. I have loved you for a thousand years. Yeah. Definitely very much into Twin Flames, probably researching, recognizing that you find each other lifetime. After. This has been coming up a lot in my readings. There's like a certain collective group that I always seem to pick up on. And I think it resonates because I feel this way about my, again, I have no idea who my Twin Flame is. I just know I have one because I feel a connection. I have no face. No body to put this connection to because I only see the neck down and some parts of the body <laughs> like that aren't like it just looks like skin and they don't show me descriptive things. But anyway, this person, whoever the per faceless person is, made a contract at some point in our lives through magic. We are always gifted and I'm saying this because it's relevant to you as well. Either divine... Feminine feels this, Divine Masculine feels this, or both of you. Gaia, what are you doing? She's on top of the fridge. <laughs> Hi, boo. Oh, now she's all the way up on top of the cupboards. Look at you. How are you going to get down? I'm sure. I can't help you, boo. <laughs> But anyway, um, I feel like my in every single life, I'm. you know what I'm going to say when I find my twin flame? You did it again. <laughs> I hit, I even hit this time. <laughs> you still found me. Shit. <laughs> but that's the energy. They know that this, this divine feminine knows the divine masculine is going to show up eventually. They're like, you do this to me in every life. I know you're going to come. 
<laughs> I mean, hey. So astrology, again, you don't have to focus too much on, on signs because I talk about energy as an astrologist. I focus on, okay, this is what personality this person has. This is what mentality they're in right now. This is their actions. I don't focus so much on, okay, so this person is this sign, and I don't stick to it anyway because then you miss your message because you're too focused on facts. Moon and Scorpio. A change in your emotional life. This person's really trying to transform, um, especially any drama, like, Fear of rejection, fear of being cheated on, um, any runner chaser energy. They're getting rid of toxic things. Sun and Cancer, home. Focus on your home and love. They're focusing on loving themselves and building a home for themselves, a strong foundation. They're very much in like hermit energy, feeling the need to just be by themselves and focus on themselves, learn what they like, love who they are, and heal up. I, they did recognize that they were with a karmic. I don't feel this energy right now. I don't know if it's because they're separated or this person left and they're in their own home or they're just um, deciding to push that karmic energy out altogether and pretending in their mind that they're a single person. But we'll get more. Sun and Scorpio, passion. A passionate, intense, or mysterious phase. Number eight talks about infinity, yeah. They can't figure out why they're so drawn to you and why it's so sexual based. Especially if you have never had sex with this person. They're like, why do I want it so much? It doesn't make any sense. But then you have the twin flame part coming up. So they're like kind of putting the puzzle together. Um, very passionate. <laughs> Lots of sexual energy. Sun in Aquarius, opportunity 11. 11 is half of a twin flame. 11, 11 is my twin flame number. Um, trying to create the opportunity for um, union to come, but not focusing on control. The opportunity comes when you relinquish control to spirit and you just focus on yourself and you're like raising your vibrations. So that's what this person is doing. And with this um, rainbow, I feel like it's going well. They could be trying to um, prepare for you as well, Divine Masculine. So energy with the animal deck, we have Scorpion. They still feel a little stung and they're afraid of your sting. They're afraid you're going to lash out. You're, they're afraid you're going to reject them. But we have Lion. They want to come across as somebody who's very noble um, and respectful because that's how they see you as somebody who's a little bit above them in sense of like stature or privilege. Even if you're not, this is just how they're viewing you. Um, so they want you to look at them as someone who is successful in their own right. Um, but this also speaks to somebody who respects you a lot, Divine Masculine. Fox, they are trying to seduce you. They're trying to um, be playful and, and put more fun energy in it because they did re reference they want to make peace here. So let's talk about fantasies or what they're thinking about you. Um, we have this cute couple just kind of dancing either at a house party or in their living room. To me, this signifies they want to put the romance into it. They want to be gentle and sweet and have sweet moments with you. Um, I do have music notes in the background. Um, it could be even taking dance class, writing music together. Just music is an element here. They could be trying to speak to you through music as well if you're at a part. <laughs> So, obviously, this is a couple who is very close, um, very sensual with all those candles. It's like they want to set the ambiance. This is a very spiritual connection to me. They want to connect mind, body, and soul. And then they also want to have some kinky fuckery in the mix as well. Lots of sexual fantasies at this time. Things are not as they appear with the Divine Feminine. The lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Love brain frees the universe. This Divine Feminine is learning to see their worth and learning to project that and 
and demand it to the rest of the people in the world. So I think they're exuding a very tough exterior at this time. A lot of divine feminines are embracing the emperor mode. They're trying to get shit done and they're a little bit cold and calculated without meaning to be. So to me with this things are not as they appear. You might feel divine masculine that divine feminine is being frosty and cold to you, but it's not to you. I think they're just very much protecting their energy because they're healing and they're hurt and they have a dream or ambition and they're just trying to like really focus in on that. Um, so we have She Wolf Unleash the Wild Within. Hello, pretty girl. What are you doing? She's digging in the fortune cookie tarot. This is silly. Hi, Gaia. Mother Earth is just walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Unleash the wild within. Yeah, she, this divine feminine doesn't have to be she. I just say she because I'm a divine feminine. I don't mean to exclude or promote any gender. Um, howling at the moon. Lots of lust. Lots of passion. Kitty, I love you, but... It's freezing now. The sun is gone. <laughs> anyway. <gasps> Those are heavy windows. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's exploring now. At least she's seeming more comfortable. My hand is itching. Is that a good sign or a bad? But this also, she wolf is going after like passion, work, working on themselves, working on a body issue, working on self love, going forward, full steam ahead. And medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. They're trying to heal. They're really focused on being zen, um, high vibes, um, letting go of anything that's toxic, and people, places, and things. Renewal, rebirth. They do want a restart. I think they're very much um, thinking and trying to plan on how they would come forward um, and fix whatever happened here. Or, or they're trying to rebuild their life. They could literally be starting over with something. Um, they could be leaving the karmic and like moving by themselves. They could be starting a new career. We have empowerment. Yeah, this is about self-empowerment. The Divine Feminine needs to complete something on their own needs to feel a certain way about themselves they're overcoming great adversity whether it's relationship adversity or life or money adversity it doesn't really matter it's like they're trying to get the the ground underneath their feet steady again and this is self-empowerment loving thyself standing up for thyself and they're taking action they're cutting out people who are toxic to them they're cutting um Thing, they're learning to say no when, when maybe they always were a people, people pleaser and said yes. Or they're taking action on their personal goals as well. Making solid plans. Okay, so what is their personality? Well, like What exactly goes on here with this Divine Feminine? We have Networker. Again, this talks about work. I really feel like they're trying to put themselves out there and get something off the ground. This could also mean they're trying to date. Um... Or reaching out to people to get help getting out of toxic relationships or situations. We have mystics. So they could be a psychic medium embracing their spiritual gifts and spiritual awakening. Which I feel like is a lot for this group. I do feel a very sensual, spiritual um, vibe here. We have engineer. They're building something. They're trying to build something off the ground for themselves. Feeling a little bit of an entrepreneur type of vibes. What are they learning to surrender or what are they working on? Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. That they're not good enough. That they're always going to fail. That they don't, they're not deserving of things. These are, are things they're trying to transmute and teach them 
themselves not to do. They're trying to not be in their ego, I think, when they're afraid or they're scared, um, especially scared of rejection. They take on this alter ego that maybe they are tough or don't really need anyone, um, and they're learning to be more soft here and more humble. They are surrendering, surrendering to spirit. This divine feminine um, seems to like control and in the past was trying to control the outcome of this relationship, which only made, I feel, the divine masculine run. And because they're very spiritual, they're realizing their mistake and correcting it. They are meditating and contemplating. They're, they're leaning in on their spirituality here, um, asking spirit for guidance and allowing spirit to show them the way. We do have Pisces here. Um, be bold and make the first move. So they might be thinking about, I'm not, I don't have to, hey, kitty. <laughs> I need those piles. They might be realizing, hey, I don't need to wait for the Divine Masculine to come to me. Maybe I can come to them. I'm not sure if they are going to do that because I don't feel like they have the courage to, but they're at least um, thinking about it. Your commitment is being tested. Yeah, Spirit's asking, how bad, how bad do you want this restart? How bad do you want things in your life? And it's not just about the relationship. I feel like they're being tested about work um, and life choices. So what dark shadow work are they working on queen of my world their confidence i feel like they lacked confidence in the past or they could have been overly confident which could have caused some issues in the past but they are blinded to their own pain sometimes and i think they're blinded to the pain that they cause others at times so they're learning to look at situations differently and the mistakes they made and people's reactions and realizing that everybody's just kind of suffering and going through their own thing. Um, and is this me? Is They don't know who they are. They don't understand. Um, I mean, maybe they felt like they could have been confident in the past. But I feel like there's a lot of change here. And there's so much change that this person doesn't really know what to do with it. Hey, pretty, pretty. I need this pen, silly girl. Okay, so... New love energy, okay, so you could be the new love, Divine Masculine, May, if you've never dated or they want to re rekindle here, restart, you could be the new energy, but Divine Feminines, I think, has some new energy coming in, um, whether they're aware of it or not, or this is them just putting love into themselves. Celebration, bounty, yeah, this is about work, some kind of work success or um, celebrating some kind of milestone in their life. Enjoying the outcome, yeah. Something went down for the Divine Feminine. They worked hard. They um, achieved some goal. I really feel like for majority, this is self-love, like coming back to self. And pause and observation. They're stalking because there's distance. You aren't communicating. And they don't know what the status of your life or your relationships are. So they are looking into your social media's Divine Masculine to figure out what's good with you. Um, if you're happy. If things are going well. Inner strength. You have great courage and kindness, and you may not realize how strong and powerful you are, but there is no problem you can't solve. The compassion you so freely give to others must also be given to yourself. Stand strong in your convictions if the right answer to tell someone is no. Again, another 11. <laughs> and it's a lady with a cat. Talk about synchronicities. Um, this person is, this divine feminine is really understanding that what they put out isn't being replaced. So they're pulling back their energy and they're only given to people who at least attempt to give back to them, even if they're struggling, like, you know, you get what you give kind of energy. And they're realizing they're a lot more spiritually gifted than they thought at this time. Five of action, another signal of action. Your angels want you to know that your current challenges pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama into your life. So I feel like they're sticking up to bullies in their life. People that push them around or have pushed them around, they're finally setting those boundaries like, look, I'm not doing that, you're not talking to me like that or they're just doing that with someone in their life at this time it could be their karmic um i think they are um in a fight for their freedom here they're seeking answers from spirit 
trusting that the divine will lead them through. Like I said, this person is very spiritual, dedicated effort. They're putting the work in. They're taking baby steps. They're focused on end game. So they're not worried so much on trivial shit every day. They're more worried uh, of I need to work on my spirituality and I need to put the work in to make this happen. And every day I'm doing so. This person has a solid, at least spiritual plan. Um... Because this is the kind of person that believes that if you're at your highest vibes and you're doing really well, this is when union comes in. So they're like, okay, if I want union to happen, I need to be high vibes, my suitcase needs to be cleaned out, and I need to be established in some sense. So every day they're checking things off. They have daydreams about you a lot and it, um, physical dreams, especially about past lives. And they are making a lot of decisions about how they feel about the Divine Masculine and where this is all going. They are releasing a karmic here or releasing some kind of pain. I feel like this is a lot of the reason why you two are separated at this time because this person either has a shattered heart that they need to hear, heal from, anger they're processing, or they're literally releasing another relationship, could be getting a divorce. Um, I just feel like I'm, I heard a whole new life. So this Divine Feminine is having a serious glow up, but this is something that has been building up over time. They do want to share the love and put the love into the relationship with the Divine Masculine. Um, share the love. They could also be trying to put someone in a third party situation or they could have been put in a third party situation. But for majority, I just feel like they want to start being less frosty to the Divine Masculine and more warm hearted and see where it goes and, and make that peace and not have any beef or ill will and be open to express feelings honestly. So I feel like on the side of the Divine Feminine, they do have a lot of transmuting to do. They have a lot of personal fears and traumas and pain that they're working through, but I see them progressing in a very healthy way. I do feel like this Divine Feminine is solid. I do feel like they are trustworthy, and I think that a lot of this time right now is very much in their head and in their heart space, and they're weighing the pros and cons, and they just don't want anything toxic. They've really come out of an angry phase, not just for you or just overall in their life. Um, and I think they're feeling a lot freer, but I, they, they still have a lot of nerves and fear when it comes to you because they do have a sense of rejection from you, Divine Masculine. They feel like you turned them down or that they're not your type or something um, that made them feel less of themselves. And I feel like this is something that they're battling that is really keeping you, them from coming in. Something that happened before that took away their confidence. Because I feel like this Divine Feminine is naturally very confident. So I do see you... This is a healthy relationship because they're seeing, they're trying to see the divine masculine side, and they're also realizing that they need to to dead their own shit before they even start, which comes from a very mature and rational mind. So so far, so good. All right, so let me timestamp the divine masculine. Thirty-three ten. All right, divine masculine. Let's get your channeled cards here. We have, they are like an angel to me. They fill me with some crazy good feels. I don't know what I did to deserve them in my life, but I'm so glad that they came. They lifted me up of, out of some really hard times, and they don't even know how much I needed them or still need them. I have so much gratitude. They are a gift to me, and I feel blessed. Oh, so Divine Feminine, I did feel like was a spiritual sense they could be someone like me and a public aspect that somebody who goes to advice for life coach anything like that but they just look to the divine masculine as a mentor um they just see them as the solid earth angel somebody who really has their shit together really phenomenal motivating they just think the world of you I know you're my twin flame. I am aware of our connection. Oh my God, you both recognize that. Yeah, union's right around the corner, but you're both at least in this acknowledgement of that's my twin flame. I don't know if you're both seeing past lives at this point, but I kind of feel like it. 
Stop biting your lip and taking it on the cheek. Speak your truth and stand your ground. Don't you dare take less than you're worth. Um, they do feel the divine feminine is taking shit from their karmic, being treated horribly, and they don't fucking like it. I can tell you that. They're definitely bringing up the karmic energy. We have Sagittarius on the board here. Make a move. So this divine feminine, or I'm sorry, divine masculine could be wanting the divine feminine to make a move. Or they're the ones making a move. We will find out. But action is being taken. I have the biggest crush on you. Oh, for sure. Getting divorced. Okay, so this divine masculine is with the karmic, but they're recognizing that they are splitting. Currently going through a divorce. I'm mad you chose another over me. Ooh, so they could be recognizing this is the divine feminine feelings about them, or they also feel rejected. Sexual attraction. Again, um, same with the divine feminine. You're mirroring each other. A lot of sexual vibes. You're my first choice. So despite what happened with this rejection on the divine masculine side, divine feminine is and I feel has always been the first choice. In separation, yeah. They're not in union. That's twice now that they've referenced that the two of you aren't together. I want to put more effort in this connection. Yeah, they, they're they feeling like a stalemate, and they don't like it either. I think you're both feeling this. You both want to make peace and see where this goes. You are so confusing. I don't understand what you want from me. The Divine Feminine is very hard to read. It's like one minute they're very warm and loving and one minute they're very cold. And remember what I said about the Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine. They have this hard exterior because they're fighting off bullies and they're, and they're in that Emperor mode. So I, like I said, the Divine Masculine is picking up on the frostiness and they're misreading it. They think it's directed at them, but I don't think it is Divine Masculine. You get more though. You make me laugh. I know what you're doing. Okay, so I think this Divine Masculine is onto the fact that Divine Feminine is baiting them a little or like trying to dress sexy to get their attention. I'm upset about how you think and speak about me. I feel like this is some kind of... Um, either a reflection on them as a lover or a person or their job. There's Divine Masculine has a little bit of a sour taste about some kind of description the Divine Feminine made about them. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. You were the owl. <laughs> I forgot to hold that up. All right. Or no, wait. That's group two. Oh, my God. I did not do two stickers for Divine Masculine. I thought I was going to do that. Never mind. You're still the kitty. <laughs> All right. So... I thought I was going to do, I don't know, it made sense in here. I, d I guess I didn't end up doing it. So I have three songs from the Divine Masculine that would be dedicated to the Divine Feminine. We have The Weeknd, Rolling Stone. Now you're thinking about it. Girl, you're thinking about it. What we got here. How we fucking got here. They recognize. They just recognize. I'm in a life without a home, so... This recognition is not enough. I don't care about nobody else because I've been on these streets way too long. Too long, too long. Baby, I've been on this too long. They want to set down roots. They want to settle down. Like they're, They don't want to date around anymore. They're not like fuck boy, fuck girl energy. Maybe they were in the past, but like on the weekends, they just want to come home and be chill with somebody. Like they don't want to have to go out to the club. Um, or they want to go to the club with someone as a couple, not by themselves. Like, Also, they're saying they recognize how we fucking got here was because of either they feel the Divine Feminine's actions or their own actions. They're seeing the lessons of things. What name is that? Jean? Echo BS. Why do you spell like that? It seems like I give so much and don't get nothing back. I really thought it was love, but you're so fucking whack. I always get caught up in love, but I, I am done with that. I can't get caught up in lust, so now, um, yeah. Flexing on my exes and my model X. Pretty little skinny little bitty body model X. 
Some of you all ain't never had no real betchin at shows. You're the real deal to them. This is, I feel like it's their karmic. Like, the, they did say getting a divorce. Like, that bitch is whack. Like, I never, I don't understand why I ever thought that person was the real deal. Because I've had a real, real one, which is you, Divine Feminine. Beyonce, best thing I never had. I wanted you so bad. I'm so through with that. Because honestly, you turned out to be the best thing I never had. You turned out to be the best thing I never had. And I'm always going to be the best thing you never had. Oh yeah, I bet it sucks to be you right now. Ooh, okay, so. Some of these are talking about the divorce and the ex. And some of you, this Divine Masculine is really mad. Um, and might not want a second chance here. But don't freak out yet, Divine Feminines. We are going to get more. Let's get some astrology. Don't focus too much on signs. You can if you want. But I talk about energy on my channel. We have Moon and Pisces dreaming about you. You're their dream. Like you're their dream come true. Scale Mountains to gain a sense of achievement. Moon and Capricorn accomplishment. I do feel like... You have achieved, at least both in your individual rights, a level of maturity and healing to be able to see what this, the proper view of this connection. They, I feel like they're also getting accomplishments with work right now. Sun and Taurus, practicalities. Yeah, they're trying to save money here. They're trying to put their energy in things that are solid. They don't want fuck boy, fuck girl energy. They don't want anyone that's going to dick them around. So I feel like the Divine Masculine has pulled their energy back at this current time. Um, they're making Divine Feminine earn it back a little bit for whatever um, went down here. We have Sun and Sagittarius adventure slide out into new territory. So they could be moving. They could just want a new start here um, or moving on to a whole new relationship. We'll get some more animal deck here. Talks about how they see you, how they f see your personality. Turtle, again, cosmic connection. They're so pulled for, to you, and I think this really does scare them a lot, even to this day. But they, this to me expresses a very spiritual connection. Firefly, um, you're the light in the dark. I really feel like a lot of this animosity is towards the karmic. I don't know why, if, if it's like mad at themselves forever, like, not being able to see that this person was either a phony or a user or a cheater or something because they have this spiritual connection to you with this owl. They get all these downloads and spiritual feelings for you and they spent so much time running from it. I think they're very much mad at themselves and they're very much mad at um, this karmic that they're with because I do feel like in some sense they feel like they were lied to. Um... Let's get some emotions or feelings for you. Ooh, okay. So they do want a family with you or they do see you having a family. Maybe you already have a family. This could be your spouse already. You could have children or th this could be expressing they might want more children. But this is like, I want, I want to put a baby in your card pretty much. <laughs> so someone might want to get someone pregnant here or just want to have babies and the real, like a family or the real deal. And then this is like playful homebody energy, but also like very passionate, sexy time. Like the passion is always there. So much love and respect, building a family together, but also super hot and kinky. Can't keep each other's hands off. Oh, but they, like look at, they're doing laundry. I don't know if you can see it. Like household chores is made fun with dancing. Like they do see a strong friendship here, especially with these two together. A lot of passion, a lot of fun, and um, genuinely being themselves and making the mundane fun together and really wanting the real deal for it. Like they're seeing long term. <sighs> There's so much karmic energy though with these songs. They're very angry. We'll see. See me in their eyes. Whenever conferring with another, either face-to-face -face or across the miles, 
whether a human being, departed spirit, or sentient tree, always speak to the highest within them. It makes such a difference. They're trying to put their, it's like we're trying to put the shoe on the other foot here. They're really trying to see the divine feminines side of things. They're trying to see their karmic. This is an overwhelming sense to be fair. They want to close things out correctly and be fair. They do have a lot of anger towards karmic situations. They want to see this relationship with you as it truly is and be fair to themselves and your heart. But they do still have a little bit of anger towards what went down there as well. What energy are they getting off? Perpetua, the saint of authenticity. They're speaking the truth. They're being 100% truthful. They're no longer shielding anyone's feelings. They're no longer putting their own needs in check. This is somebody who's like, I know myself. I know what I want. I know how I feel, and I'm going to speak my truth. Very powerful energy. Fatima, mother of Islam. Is I don't know. I don't know. Love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion. Light worker vibes. Just trying to like be positive and happy and turn that frown upside down. Really good energy. Um, very strong energy. So we have colors and numbers. Number 22 is a holy number. This person sees signs everywhere about you. Here's your name, thinks about you all the time, looks for you in the crowd. Music, they hear songs and think about you. Spirit's really pulling them and they're noticing the signs. They're not uh, ignoring it anymore. Yeah, so much love for this divine feminine. They want babies. They want marriage. They want a home. They want stability. They want to grow old together. This isn't some, like fuck boy, fuck girl energy at all. They want this with you, Divine Feminine. They could also be a musician or they not only want love and life, but they want to create things too. Or your love is like your their muse for their artistry. What attributes do we have right now? We have hero heroine and angel they're out here saving people and shit sticking up for the underdog getting shit done in their community this person is very strong and fierce um, but they're trying to make change they're being a light worker they're stepping into a position um, of authority in some sense and they're trying to sh shine their light and and use their wisdom acknowledged and Wisdom and knowledge, both from otherworldly and what they've learned in their life, to teach the world something, which is great. But there is a lot of gossip about this person and their character at this time. Um, I don't know if they're gossiping about the Divine Feminine or it's gossip about them or their karmics are gossiping. But this person is overwhelmed with bullshit, um, a lot of shit going on, um, people think wrong of them or... They are this hero, heroine, angel, but then you got other people in their life talking shit. Trying, I think they're kind of a little bit jealous of the light they exude. Dealing with some haters, basically. Or there's a lot of gossip about this connection. Um, what are they surrendering right now? They're surrendering denial. They're no longer denying that this is a spiritual connection, that they love you. This is not something they're running from anymore. They're fully embracing it. Surrender to what is, but they realize that they can't control things. They realize that the other person has to love them back, which is you, and that it can't they can't be the only one putting movement into it. So they're just focusing on themselves, giving it to spirit, and hoping for the best at this point. Surrender obsessive thinking. They think about you all the time. What you're up to, who you're with, how this is all going to come together, how are you going to make them understand and see. It's like their mind is always going about you, and they're realizing that this is a karmic-like energy or a toxic energy we have work through your fears new moon in scorpio luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius oh my god confidence is your key to success new moon in leo all new moons um new start 
this person is embracing their fear, hitting it head on. Luck is changing for them. They've gone through something really heavy and toxic. And now the good stuff's coming in, which is giving them confidence here. They're really getting a, a self-confidence boost and feeling good about themselves and probably some time since they felt that way what shadow work are they doing right now we have today for tomorrow they're learning to just be in the moment and not focusing so much on down the road and planning they're just trying to be more spontaneous um atonement to me is like they feel bad karma is coming in that they've earned and they're trying to step up and do the right thing but this is um very like grieving suffering like there was hater energy they could be getting julius caesar like people are just stabbing them in the back for power or just because they can it's like they have a lot of haters and it's um putting them in a very hard place within themselves and in their life yeah parasite they have energy vampire karmic yuckiness um but i do feel like they're aware of it and they're trying to shake it off here yeah, we got the fool. This person's on a new journey, especially if they're getting divorced. They're moving in by themselves. They're trying to figure out their next steps here. Um, nervous about change. They're afraid to leave their comfort zone, though. Change is very hard for this person. Um, I don't think they thought their stability was ever going to get shook up in this way, so they're in a little bit of shock as well. Um, the hermit sticking to themselves, but also seeing the truth of the situation and respecting what the truth is. And the truth is they just need a little bit of time to themselves to heal as well. They're reflecting on the mistakes they made and how their relationships have failed and, and what they want and what they've learned. Um, really not just in their relationships, but in their life. There's somebody really trying to learn those solid lessons within themselves. We have nine of abundance. Life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself a small luxurious gift. You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. So this person is doing well with money and work. Um... But this is learning to be okay with spending a little bit of money and being okay with spending a little bit of time on yourself. You've worked hard, Divine Masculine. Don't feel guilty for rewarding yourself. Ace of Emotion. The share up is announcing that a wonderful new emotional experience is coming into your life. You may meet someone new who makes you, your heart flutter or your current relationship will experience a reawakening. It's also possible that your intuitive abilities will be greatly increased by your open heart. I do see you both elevating in spirituality. So I'm, I'm, that's definitely true. You're both growing. Um, so they said it could be current relationship or a new relationship, but love is being put into it. Hope is coming back. Yeah, simply love to me is like taking all the bullshit and just understanding the fact that this is who I love and this is what I love doing and I'm going to build my life around those two things. They're embracing who they are and they're embracing being more loving and connected to their emotions. They're not trying to be frosty anymore. They are awaiting a result on something that they've worked hard for or they could be waiting for court results as well because they did bring in a divorce Success and growth, so they're making, they're checking things off their list. We have seven and then eight. So they're progressing in a positive way, progressing to something that they're meant to do. They're having success, they're doing well, or they will be having success and doing well right around the corner. They are taking lead. They are in that heroine, boss energy, sticking up for people, just taking the lead at work and just being overly more responsible so for the divine masculine there is a little bit of question of whether this relationship is unhealthy because there is an element of anger and resentment and i really don't know if that's towards the the karmic or what happened with the divine feminine i do feel it comes from a genuine place so what i would suggest is this is a solid relationship as in it it is true love but you really need to 
make your foundation stronger or it's just going to crumble and crack. And how you make your situation stronger is really sitting down and talking to each other and taking out the, uh, the possibility of misconstruing something or miscommunication by saying, hey, this is what I meant, this is how I feel, and this is what I want. And it, actually exchanging that will, will set you free in a big way. So I hope it was helpful, pile number one. If it was, if you want more like this in the future, please give me a thumbs up below. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Group two, you picked this adorable little owl. <laughs> All right. I have Divine Feminine Stack and Divine Masculine Stack. I'm going to do them individually and I will timestamp underneath your um, pile one. I'm going to put Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. If you just want to skip to your pile or your person's pile and not hear the rest, you can do that. Um, but we are doing some live draws as well. We're going to get some channeled message cards. Just a couple since we have a very big deck for both of you with a lot of, or very big stack, not a deck, with a lot of details, so. You know I like to do something live for you, at least. And we're gonna do some fortune cookie tarot for you both. Divine Feminine, we got you, and, oh, <laughs> I was looking at the regular kind, time, regular kind, oh my god, I need sleep tonight, if I don't sleep tonight, I might die, <laughs> alright, Divine Feminines, let's look at your fortune cookie tarot, you're a good friend to me, so Divine Feminine definitely thinks the Divine Masculine is somebody they can trust, who's very loyal, good friend, Ooh, we got Virgo, so your person could be a Virgo, this Divine Feminine could be a Virgo, or you're in analytical mode trying to figure out what this is. I feel like a teenager again. Oh, you give them the shivers, <laughs> you give them the bubbles in the tummy, the butterflies in the tummy. Well, butterflies, bubbles would be more like farts, I guess. Wrong terminology, you don't make them want to fart. <laughs> Maybe beans do, I don't know. Remember that saying? What was it? We used to sing it when I was a kid. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you chew. I remember being at the kitchen table and my parents were like, just shut up and eat your vegetables. Why do you make weird songs? <laughs> I'm lost without you. Oh, so there is some separation here. Very heavy sadness from the Divine Feminines. Scorpio energy. Could be hiding feelings. I want to talk this out and see where we both stand. They want they want to know your truth, divine masculine, and they want to speak theirs. They're done wondering. They're done worrying about it. They want to get this show on the road, I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm wearing... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading wrong. I'm masking my feelings for you. I don't want you to know how I feel yet. Yeah, that's that Scorpio, Scorpio energy. Although they want... It's a little bit fucked up. But they want to hear what you have to say before they express how they feel. Don't we all, Divine Feminines? Don't we all want that? <laughs> they want to be the one second expressing their feelings. I can't concentrate on work because I keep daydreaming about you. Ooh, can't even work without thinking about you, Divine Masculine. I'm so in love with you. You're my one. You're the only one I will ever want. Oh my god! This is like marriage, husband, husband wifey vibes. I, you're my husband and you're my wife. You don't know it yet, but this is what's happening. I like your vibes, Divine Feminine. Stop! This is freaking me out. I want to run. <laughs> They're getting a lot of signs. This is me. This is my energy, my twin flame. Because I keep getting signs and I don't understand it. But why do these songs keep following me? No one in the collective is responding, so this has to be like a twin flame thing. Do you have songs following you everywhere, Divine Feminine? I feel like you do. 
feel like it's like making me like this too. I do that too. Everywhere. I'm like, stop it! <laughs> Don't like it! <laughs> Tell me what's really happening. If you're a Virgo like me, like that came out, you don't like not knowing what happens. Virgos need to be in the loop to be sane. Like, if you don't put me in the loop, I'm just going to figure it out myself. <laughs> That's a Virgo right there. Ooh, mirror, mirror on the wall. They have a little bit of body issues right now. Um, it's kind of like they're asking spirit, do they give me a sign? Do they really love me? Do they really want me? Here comes the bride. Yeah, this person wants to marry you. You want to kiss and make up ASAP. They don't like no bad beef. They're like, I want to go there right now. <laughs> what is this energy? Why am I clapping? What the fuck? I don't know. But this is Divine Feminine's energy. So I got two songs here. You guys only got two? Interesting. So these are two songs that the Divine Feminine would dedicate to the Divine Masculine and help me figure out what they're thinking and feeling. So we have Destiny's Child, Bills, Bills, Bills. At first we started out real cool, taking me places I ain't never been, but now you're getting comfortable and doing those things you did no more. You're slowly making me pay for things your money should be handling, and now you ask to use my car, drive it all day and don't fill up the tank, and you have the audacity to even come and step to me, ask to hold some money from me until you get your check next week. It could be about money. They could be mad about money, like literal money, divine masculine, but I feel like this is about worth. Like, you ain't treating me like I'm worth, like my worth, and I don't fucking like it. <laughs> I'm not someone's side piece. I'm not someone's second choice. Like, no. Like, no my worth, boo-boo. <laughs> Very animated in this file. It's all right. We have 50 cent, 21 questions. Do you trust me enough to tell me your dreams? I'm start <laughs> starting to begin to think I need glasses or something because I can't fucking read. <laughs> I'm staring at you, trying to figure out how you got in them jeans. <laughs> if I was down, would you say things to make me smile? I treat you how you want to be treated just teach me how. If I was with some other chick and someone happened to see, and when you asked me about it, I said it wasn't me, would you believe me or up and leave me? How deep is our bond if that's all it takes for you to be gone? We only humans, girl. We make mistakes. To make it up, I do whatever it takes. I love you like a fat kid loves cake. You know my style. I say anything to make you smile. Ugh. Getting a little player energy. I don't know if the Divine Feminine is the player energy or they feel the Divine Masculine is. But they're questioning if they can trust you or they're questioning if there's somebody who can settle down, if that makes sense. We'll get more. <laughs> there might just be a free spirit. Alright, so. Yeah, it's upside down. So I have some astrology. Don't focus too much on the actual signs. It could be your sign. It could be your person's. But on my channel, I talk about energy. So we have Sun and Gemini, communications. Um, home care, negotiation, and relationship skills. I think they, like they're saying, they want to come in. They want to communicate their feelings. They want to know how you feel. Um, they might want to know about third-party situations or telling you about third-party situations. Eclipse in Virgo, reorganization, choose duties and responsibilities carefully. They're trying to get their shit together. They're trying to get their life in order, their thoughts in order, and their feelings in order. They just want to be balanced and centered before making any decisions or before communicating. Sun in Capricorn, work diligently towards your goals. Yeah, they're working on raising their status. And with the number 10 is they're completing some kind of goal with money or work or self-worth. Eclipse in Capricorn, new direction. A lot of earth, two Capricorns and a Virgo, but they're just needing to ground. They are going on a new journey. Um, they are re-evaluating the success that they had just manifested. Um, I feel like this Divine Feminine is really evolving fast right now, changing and adapting. Um, they're very caught up. They might be a little busy, so they might seem a little cold. 
which is animal tarot. This is going to tell me um, how they see your personality or how they feel about you. The golden egg. You're special. Like They're never going to find anyone like you. This is a very rare connection and a very deep connection and a connection that means a lot. And we have the swan. That's twin flames. This person knows that you're the one that they want to marry. They're soulmate. They're twin flame. Wow, they have very deep feelings. And this, you in general has a big impact on their life and their spirituality. Um, some feelings about you or how they see your future here. Very supportive of each other. Very expression, like your expression or your love language to support each other is like you don't even have to say anything. You just kind of lean in. Um, encouragement, support, respect, um, desire. It's like you adore each other. Um, <laughs> this to me is like a lot of sexual energy, but wanting to go out and really like power couple vibes here. I think they do like it when you grab them up though. Love cuddles maybe. Um, yeah, they see the multiple kids, husband, wife, the real deal with you. Having a solid friendship and being devoted to each other. So that that's good. That's sweet. Everyone is doing their best. There are really only two types of people. Those who now love and those who will love. Until there's only one type of person and then we hit replay. So they're not in that energy of being frustrated of why this is taking so long. I think they're recognizing that this, them, the Divine Feminine is doing their best with their own insecurities and frustrations and Divine Masculine is doing their best. Um, they're really trying to be in this own oh, uh, Buddha-like vibes. I love it. We have Shaman, Master, and Fire Guardian. So this person, again, is very much working on their peace and their spirituality and healing. Um, but they are very passionate about this connection. They really want to get it going, but they're very passionate about their career as well. I think they feel very torn between love and career at this time. The goddess, yeah, embracing their inner power, really leveling up in their spirituality. Um, they could be working on their relationship with food or they, they are trying to nourish their body. Um, house and building, yeah, they're building something that could be moving, building a legacy I'm hearing. They're working on something um, for you guys in the future, whether it's just building financial security or building an actual business for themselves. Ooh, we have warrior. They are fighting through something right now, and I think they are willing to fight for this connection. They are an addict of some kind. It could be drama. It could be like drugs, alcohol. It's just, I think they're addicted to you because they can't focus on work, and they're recognizing this addictive personality is um, a little bit codependent, so I think they're checking it. Samaritan, they are a do-gooder. They're out here helping their community. Um, they could be helping their community fight for something that they, that they need. What are they surrendering? They're surrendering to d divine timing and control. They're allowing the divine to do their thing, and they're just focusing on work in themselves and trying not to focus so much on you, Divine Masculine. They're surrendering their negative thinking about how the Divine Masculine doesn't want them back or that they're that this isn't real or that they're not deserving of things. All that's got to go. They're recognizing it and they're working on it. They're also trying to drop their stubbornness. This Divine Feminine is well aware that they make things difficult. Um, it's just how their process. They need to be comfortable and they're realizing that maybe they just had unrealistic expectations here. This could be wanting to drop the stubbornness to apologize for some of you. Yeah, a time for healing. That's what they're doing. They're taking a time out. They're healing their inner wounds. Your dreams need a practical plan. So they're feeling a little bit off balance and 
So they're trying to make their life practical, and I don't feel like they're going to make any moves until they're on solid ground, until things make sense again. Yeah, nothing is yet set in stone. They don't know if they're going to come forward. They don't know if um, they're going to give up on this. It's like they're, they love you very much, but they're, it's also not growing. And they're getting to the point where they're realizing it's very toxic to be clinging to something that doesn't seem to be growing. What shadow work do we have? Downcast pride. Again, talking about ego, checking it, um, maybe being too demandy, demanding or bossy. Colorless angel. They're recognizing that they lost their light. Their light is being dimmed in some sense by overly clinging to this relationship. Um, fragmentation. They're in and out. One day they're all for it. The next day they're like, no, this is too heavy. I'm losing myself. They have a lot going on internally. Let's see if we can get some more. Ooh, the fertility and the empress. They could be pregnant. This could be your divine feminine, a mother of your children, or they want to have your children, or this, this empress is high vibes and on a new start about something. Um, yeah, gaining that strength to go forward a new start, building something for themselves. Oh my God, Emperor, Empress. They see you as a power couple. They know that you're each other's twin flames. And we got budget lessons. They're, they're recognizing that they needed to be rejected by the Divine Masculine to make them see their ego. But they could be also having money troubles at this time. Yep, working on their balance. They're over in the corner balancing this out. Challenging times. Again, a lot of references, they're going through something hard. This is a difficult change for them. They're trying to nurture themselves and self-love through it here. But they are achieving some well-deserved reward, and I think it has something to do with career. But I think it's also success in this union, something that they've manifested here, whether it's communication or some kind of answer. Sadness and isolation. Yeah, but they're sad. But they want to get this going. They miss the Divine Masculine. They love them very much. But like I said, they just feel an energy of no growth, and they're recognizing it's a little bit toxic. Um... Oh, I forgot these. I'm sorry. Ace of Abundance. The Sheriff brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help with your plans. These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It's a good time to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. There may be important contracts to this to sign. Remember what I said? They could be starting their own business, building themselves up, but they're focusing on something very intently and they're putting all their energy into their abundance and I feel like it's paying off and it will be. Healer of thought. It's time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. You or another person involved in the situation is wise, insightful, and caring. Has a wonderful sense of humor and offers a lot of life experience. The, this is you, Divine Feminine. You're realizing that this relationship, I think you've put a lot of love and light and energy. I'm sorry, Divine, yeah, divine Feminine. <laughs> I thought I said Divine Masculine for a second. Um, you've put all this love and energy into it and you don't feel like they're putting in it back. You don't feel valued. You don't feel appreciated and you don't feel seen. Um, and this obviously, clearly, would bother me too. So, is this relationship healthy on the Divine Feminine side? I would say yeah, because I don't see how it would be unhealthy other than they don't know where you stand. You don't know where they stand. They do seem to have some kind of trust issue with the Divine Masculine here. Um, feeling like they might cut and run. But they do see you as their one. And they they are really trying to trust spirit. So I think they're headed in a very good direction. I think they have some more learning to do. But overall, I would say yes, this is a, somebody who genuinely loves you for the right reasons. Has good, solid feelings for you. And I think union is a lot sooner than you both may think. But, alright, let me write down the Divine Masculine. 
Okay. All right, Divine Masculine, let's get your channeled cards. We have Take Your Shot. You never know what can happen unless you speak up. I think they're getting a lot of advice from people in their life that they're asking. Like, you got to either do it or stop talking about it. <laughs> but this is also them realizing that within themselves at this time. I've been working on myself and focusing on what I want to do and where I want to go from here. I used to be so consumed by you and coming into union that I put myself on the back burner. Not anymore. I'm happy in my own skin and I'm happy on my own. It's not all about, all about you anymore. It's all about loving me. You're both mirroring each other. You're both feeling very much disrespected, not valued, and you're just in your corners loving yourself. I feel like there's some kind of miscommunication here. <laughs> Divine intervention in, is happening in our union. They are helping us to the finish line. They are somebody also realizing the signs and synchronicities that this is not going to go away and that spirit seems to be jamming you two together in some sense, whether it's you guys can't stop thinking about each other or you're just getting literal signs. I feel so sick about how it all went wrong. It hurts to end up this way. They don't like how any, anything went down between you, like the last thing you got. They just don't like where this situation is at, and they want to fix it. We have Venus. Venus is the planet of love, so they have a lot of love for you and a lot of love on their mind. You make me so frustrated. I'm getting mad. So I think you're bumping heads here. You're very much both in your egos. I'm afraid to be by myself. Oh, I'm afraid to be myself around you because I'm scared you won't like the real me. So this person, this Divine Masculine, does have some self-confidence issues. Um, they're not feeling confident enough to approach Divine Feminine at this time. They're still working on that ego, the part of ego where they don't have enough of it. Whereas Divine Feminine might have came on too strong and had too much. Yeah, there's definite blockages here. They could have karmic energy or the anger and fighting is getting in the way of your progression. Inner healing work under construction. They're recognizing that they have things to heal within themselves. Childhood wounds, relationship wounds, relationships with their families. It's like they're in repair mode and change, which is good. Stop coming at me like I'm not worth more than this. Again, both referencing you, you're feeling very depreciated, depreciated by the other one. Getting separated. So if they're with a karmic, they are getting separated. Or this person might be wanting to get separated from you just to have a moment to themselves. But I'm hoping for the best. I don't know what to say to you. So this could be to their karmic. They don't know what to say anymore. Um, they could be getting separated and really battling themselves with between you and a third party situation. Or they're separated from you. Um, they don't know what to say. That's why they're, they're staying gone. But they're hoping that eventually you two will talk it out. So I have two songs from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. We have John Legend, Green Light. Do I have a girlfriend? Well... Technically, no. If you'll be my girlfriend, then I'll make it so. You'll be my only true lover. No competition, no other. Baby, it's just the thrill of the chase. I've got a feeling I'm winning this race. Baby, I'm in much closer. I just need permission. Yeah, they're like, are we doing this? Because I want to do it. Are we doing this? Hello, I'm waiting for you, Divine Feminine. <laughs> Woo! 112, peaches and cream. A lot of sexual energy here. Peaches and cream. I need it because you know that I'm a fiend. Getting freaky in my Bentley limousine. It's even better when it's with ice cream. Know what I mean. Peaches and cream. I'm trying to do it fast. I don't sing. I need it because you know that I'm a fiend. Freak, getting freaky in my Bentley limousine. Girl, you taste so good to me. It's even better when it's with ice cream. Wanting to be playful and freaky. I think their love language is sex. They don't know what to say to you, so they want to show you through your body and what they want to do with your body. <laughs> All right, so let's get some astrology here. Don't focus too much on the signs. You can if you want. Could be your person, could be their person, but on my channel, I talk about energy. Eclipse in Scorpio, we have regeneration. They, 
Stand firm in the eye of the storm. They know it's not going to be easy, but they're willing to fight for you. They're willing to get through the bullshit. Moon and Libra, so in love with you. So in love with you. Eclipse and Sagittarius, growth. Yeah, they're growing and maturing. They're getting rid of things. They're making room for you in their life. Eclipse and Taurus, reevaluation, a change of heart. I think they're coming out of that. You don't treat me right. I'm going to be over here all mad. And now they're like, well, if I want to change it, I got to do something about it. They're reevaluating why they're so upset. They're looking at the shadow side, which is good. Um, their feelings for you in the animal tarot. They see you as someone is highly adaptable and your relationship will, will, with, will grow and withstand all phases of your life. The hyena to me is I think they laugh off your hate or they're trying to laugh off the hate they think you give them in some sense. To me, I think you guys bicker a little bit. Might say some harsh words. Rabbit, again, very... It talks about spring energy, new beginnings, but I'm getting baby vibes. Like, you both want kids with each other. How do they see your relationship or what do they feel about it? Devotion. They worship you. <laughs> You're their boo. They also, this is also them wanting to claim you, whether it's publicly or show people that this person is mine. Very sensual, very deep love, very romantic. And look at all these. Cuddle, 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 cuddle bugs you are. Very close. Lots of feelings. happy though they all look happy to me <laughs> all right so sometimes the good is hidden find the good in what they said or asked it's always there even if they didn't mean for it to be there so they're they're trying to they're like all right maybe i got hurt because i'm a little sensitive maybe they didn't mean it like that so they're thinking about conversations or things that happened um like, maybe I took it wrong. And they're trying to see it from your perspective. They're coming. They're. It's like they're meeting with their higher self and trying to move past it, which is beautiful. What energy are they giving off? Um, Amaterasu? The goddess of light. I don't know how to say her name. Um. Gaia, what's the matter? Come here, baby. You forget where I was? Come here. You were right. You're not by yourself. Hi there, Gaia. Did you forget you're not by yourself? Poor thing. She probably woke up and they're like, where am I? <gasps> this is them trying to um, stay in the light, rise above. The mother of believers. They don't want to stop believing in this. It's like, um, I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. Again, in independent energy. They're trying to find stability in themselves. Also, so that they can offer something stable for you. Hi, baby. She's very vocal. <laughs> All right. So we have Chase. Celebration, social occasions, and manifest. Um, they could be feeling the divine um, feminine is chasing them in this time. They could be feeling that energy, that sexual energy that's pulling them in. Or they want, they want to be chased or they want to chase you. They are celebrating something, um, some kind of success here. Um, I feel like it's work-related or personal growth milestones they are trying to manifest uh, a way back to you uh, a way through any hardships a way for peace Ooh, we have Don Juan gambler and trickster so this person wants basically this is like they want to seduce you but I don't feel like it's they're just about sex I think like I said this person's love language right is sex and touch so they don't want to fight and bicker so they're they're wanting to 
to wine and dine you so you're not mad and then they can come in and smooth you. They want to take a gamble. I don't know if uh, it's a risk to be with you in some sense, but they're willing to gamble at all. A trickster is they're also hiding their feelings or at least in the past they could have hid their hurt. They could have hid their feelings and just pretended to be a friend. Um, or they could feel the Divine Feminine is um, like teasing them of some in some sense what are they surrendering surrender the habit of people pleasing um that's another love language thing they're realizing they always seem to cave to make their partner happy at the detriment of their own happiness so they're learning not to do that which is good they're surrendering to joy it's okay to be happy you know they're letting go of that like eeyore woe is me and they're embracing their happiness they're also very stressed and working on ways to really cut that stress out, both for health reasons and because it does help calm their attitude. We have conclusions are within reach. So whatever it is that they're going through, um, whether it's karmic stuff or difficulty in their life, that's clearing up so that communication can happen soon. They're very close to achieving your goal. So they're very close to achieving what they need to be able to come in and have a discussion with you divine feminine or get this off the ground or repair it adjustments are required yeah so they have some roadblocks they have some things that they have to take care of at this time that's why union it hasn't come to play but the finish line is very very close what shadow work are they working on peaceful among thorns they're checking that temper they're trying not to be a hothead naked before the stars um they're working on that fear of being themselves. They want to be able to be themselves. They want to open up. They don't want to feel like everyone's going to use it as a weapon. I won't cry for you. <laughs> this is them surrendering um, the need to mask their pain and vocalize it so that they can be healed. We have, this person is thinking about you and your memories and thinking about what they wanted when they we're kids and thinking about like what marriage looked like like they're going all the way back they're very much in their mind but we have a tower moment they could be leaving other people or the tower moment could be making a decision on how to come back together here the, the tower moment to me with the lovers next to it is recognizing that you are finally like in their mind they're finally recognizing that they aren't going to get better like there is no better you're my one and then we have um, temperance. They want to balance this and bring peace. They want to come together. They want a life together. We have five of emotion. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels or those you love to help you move through the process quickly so that you can get back to the path to joy. That's what they're doing. They're transmuting and they're forgiving themselves. They're forgiving you. They're forgiving people in their life. They're letting go of anger. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. I know. It's okay. There's not to know where I get it later. Oh my god, five of emotion, now you have six of emotion. Memories can fill your heart with many emotions. It's important to remember your past accurately without seeing it as better or worse than it was. People used to know, used to know, oh my god, people you used to know may return to your life unexpectedly. Children could be an important issue, or you may need to reconnect with your own inner child. So they could be connecting to kids in their life. Um, they could be connecting to their inner child and just trying to be playful and recognizing their dreams. Um, so someone from their past could be coming back. You could be an ex of theirs. They're changing their focus on... To me, it's like they're not looking at things negatively or, oh my God, I have miles to go before I sleep. They're more like one one day at a time. Let's be positive. They're, they're trying to get clarity and gain clarity about what they want, what they need, how they feel. Again, another five. I think they're coming in to stake their claim. Whether you reject them or not, they just need to know one way or another. They're trying to control their... Um, feelings and they're tr still a little bit of trying to control their life um 
but to me this is like controlling the anxiety and fear so that they can speak to you because they do want to come together and make this work so i hope that was relevant <laughs> um kitty kitty are you okay uh oh your nails stuck hold on there you go it's okay i pick it up later <laughs> Um, do I think this is a healthy relationship? Yeah. I mean, I think you guys have your shit to do, but I do feel like um, you're both getting to that point of let's sit down and talk about this, which is a good place to be. Um, I think peace will be made and communication will be had very soon, and I wouldn't give up on this if I was you. I don't think, I don't see anything toxic or really horrible. Um, there is a lot of sexual tension in this time. Um, sex is definitely your love language for both of you. So, if you really love each other and you really want this, have a hot steamy night. See what happens. <laughs> that would be my advice. Um, and be careful because you might make a baby. You had Empress and Emperor in there. Yeah, that could be some spirit babies coming in to making sure they're born from their two parents. So, wear a glove if you ain't about that. <laughs> or use the pill or whatever, or something. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked it. If you, if you did, if it resonated, if you want more in the future, please give me a thumbs up below. Please subscribe if you like my vibes and how I read. It does help me grow and I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye pile two. Hi pile three. You pick the unicorn and Gaia is my new kitty and <laughs> she's pretending to look out the window and taking her down just wiping all my shit off the table. <laughs> I love that. Are you a pranker? It's okay. You're establishing your dominance. Cats are crazy. <laughs> okay, so um, this is Divine Feminine Stack. Divine Masculine Stack. So it's very, very detailed. But you know what? I like to do something live for you. So we're going to do channel cards. Not too many because we have a full stack. And I will timestamp under Miss Gaia. It's okay. It's just a heater. See the leaves? <laughs> All right, so what I was saying before Guy interrupted us. Um, I'm going to do under pile three, I'll put Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. You can timestamp if you just want to watch one side or the other. Um, and I will, after each pile, I will give you my my advice whether if this is healthy or good for you Gaia is over me working this is a rather long video for me to be honest actually I better go get my charger before we die <laughs> okay I'm back sorry I just knocked everything off the table. <laughs> what a goofy nugget. Alright, so we're also going to do some fortune cookie tarot for each of you. I mean, she's probably starved for attention. She's a rescue, so I'm not trying to be mean to her at all. She's a kitty. Kitties knock shit off. I knew she was going to do that. I cleared all my surfaces because... Every cat I ever had, they look at me and just <laughs> sometimes like, what are you going to do about it, motherfucker? <laughs> All right, Gaia. She's hungry. I mean, she's comfortable. She's finally eating. Yay. All right, so let me timestamp the Divine Feminine. We got 133, 12. Perfect. All right, Divine Feminines, let's get your full scoop, and then I will do the Divine Masculine. You can jump to the time stamp if you would like. I don't like the karmic. Whew. So Divine Feminine is well aware that Divine Masculine has a karmic. They don't like each other. <laughs> You're with a karmic. Just in case they didn't clarify, it's you, Divine Masculine, 
with your karmic and they don't like them at all. <laughs> I'm working on myself and my life right now. They're focusing on themselves though. They ain't trying to be at about the drama, which is good. I don't understand why you love them and not me. So there is still rejection they're like how could you they don't like this person they think they're very toxic and yucky and i feel like their energy is like really really i mean is it a competition divine masculine what the f <laughs> that's their energy that they're in. it hurts me to see you with them yeah they do not like this it's all about you and the karmic they're like this is bullshit <laughs> It hurts me that I was rejected by you. I mean, they're all lining up. It's scary. When you went away, my life fell apart. I'm lost without you. The all these tears. Like this sticker is crying. This sticker is crying. Crying, 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 Gaia. <laughs> she just wants to play. Don't knock those ones off. I didn't read it yet, silly baby. I know. You want me to pet you? Gaia is interrupting you a lot, Pile 3. Yeah. Maybe you have the real goddess, Gaia. Yeah. That's who you're named after because your eyeballs are the greenest I have ever seen it, like Earth. You're so cute. She's laying on her back like she's swimming. <laughs> swimming in my tarot cards. All right. So, I've got a few more. Light worker. So, this um, divine feminine is definitely a light worker, has some gifts. Do you wonder about us and what it would be like with me? So they're wondering basically if you think about them as much as they think about you and if you still care. Hard to open these with one hand, pretty girl. Ooh, we got Aquarius. You could be Aquarius. Um, they could be Aquarius, or they, you just are like a star in their eyes. Lighten your load. You're taking on more than you can handle, and you're stressed out. Take action for your sanity. This, this Divine Feminine is like really stressed out, has a lot on their plate. I feel like it's more about time management. Might be sleeping schedules. It's like they're, they're feeling the need to prioritize what's important and kind of make a schedule here. When the hard times hit your light, your timeline, close your eyes, breathe, and center your mind. Pray, ask for help, meditate, relax, and unwind. That's exactly what they're doing. They're leaning on their spirituality through a very hard time. And we have blunder maker. Um, so they could have made a blunder here, or they feel like um, someone in their life is making problems for them. We'll get more. Here's some channeled songs that they would dedicate to the Divine Masculine. It also tells me how they're thinking and feeling about you. We have Snow Patrol, Chasing Cars. We'll do it all. Everything on our own. We don't need anything or anyone. If I lay here, if I just lay here, would you lie with me and just forget the world? They don't need a, a bunch of shit. Divine masculine. They don't need gifts. They don't need romantic gestures or words. They just need you to be themselves. They just want to be themselves with you and just disappear. They, we don't need help from the outside world. We don't need anyone's approval. Hello, Gaia. Hello, baby. Do you like Pile 3? Is Pile 3 your vibes? I think so. <laughs> Are you a cat person, Pile 3? This kitty loves you. Oh my god. She even pawed that she went like, she touched her paw like this to Buddha. <laughs> Are you getting their zenful vibes? You're so pretty. She wants to hold, oh my god. Little hand holder kitty. I'm sorry guys, we're super distracted. This is our first night together. She keeps like putting her paw out like this and I put my finger in it and she goes, holds it. She's holding my hand. I love cats. You're so cute. Yeah, you're thankful, I know. Thank you for giving me a home. She's like, I just want you to know that I need love. <laughs> Let me just be up your butt. I'm not going to forget about you. 
gonna get attention. You're okay. Just relax. Go explore. Play with your toys. Get your food. Okay, you can lay there. I don't mind. <laughs> Does that hurt? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Rescues, they need a little TLC. Bear with me. Tyrese, signs of lovemaking. These are the signs that are made for each... Oh, my God. These are the signs that are made for each other. Are you the Zodiac freak? I'm a Capricorn. I came here to get manish. Ooh, I know. <laughs> it's good when you start speaking Spanish. Aries, sexually, you feel of energy. After I'm done, you're still telling me you want me. Meta Gemini, ooh, what a sex drive. She wanted it from the back, the front, back, left, and the right. Baby, I will guarantee to give you everything your body's missing. Did you fart, kitty? Waving <laughs> it right in my face. I like you already. You fart at people. You high five. You hold hands. I hope you don't got a belly ache. You okay? Precious. Jordan Sparks featuring Chris Brown. No air. If I should die before I awake, it's because you took my breath away. Losing you is like living in a world with no air. I'm here alone, don't want to leave. My heart won't move, it's incomplete. Wish there was a way that I can make you understand. Again, referencing distance, that they miss you. Um, this person might be very into zodiac, astrology. Um, or basically, they just want to figure out how you tick. And they just want to be themselves with you and you be themselves with them. Let's get some astrology. You don't have to focus too much on signs. You can if you want. I focus more on energy. We have Sun and Virgo. They're starting a new endeavor. You reap what you sow. They're putting hard work in and those seeds are starting to sprout. Sun and Libra. They just, oh my God, there's two swans. They see a harmonious connection with you. You make them so happy. They're very in love. Eclipse and Har Harry's. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean, mean to say that. Is your name Harry? Eclipse in Aries. Collaboration. Maybe you're collaborating with someone named Harry because that just flew right out of my god dang mouth. Eclipse in Cancer. Acceptance. Yeah, they're accepting what this is. I don't think they're running anymore. I think they're accepting their part in things and what they need to do. They're accepting themselves. They're, they're forgiving a lot of people in their life. Uh, emotional phase or domestic development. They could be um, accepting their life situation instead of fighting it, if that makes sense. Animal Tarot, let's get some feelings, how they feel about you, how they see you. Hummingbird, Nightingale, and Lamb. They, they think you're doing magic on them, particularly love spells, um, or they just feel you're trying to manifest past them in general. You're calling out to them in the spiritual sense and I think they are getting those signs. Hummingbird, they they see you as very majestic and mighty. Like People misread you a lot but they see your true strength when most people think that you're a lamb <laughs> or they think you're a wolf when really you're a lamb. It's opposite. But um, they have a lot of sweet um, nourish, nourishing um loving vibes. This isn't someone who's going to eat you alive. They want to cuddle you. So how do they feel about you or see their relationship? Um, you adore each other. Silliness, playful. This is like when things are hard, you stopping and saying, hey, everything's going to be fine and making the other one smile. Good support system. Um, you might travel a lot for work or this person travels a lot um, a lot of coming and going energy, always saying hi and goodbye, or at least in the beginning of the relationship. But the passion now, woo! <laughs> Do I have to say more with that card? All right, so we have, it's not as if you need anyone. For as long as you wish to keep them in your life, whoever they may be, Understanding them as opposed to changing them will wildly, wildly improve the chances that they'll wish to keep you in their life. On the other hand, you're pretty much stuck with me. 
Um, they're realizing they don't need anyone. They have the power to love themselves, to love their life, so they're not codependent. This is a very independent person. Um, but they're also saying, I don't need to change them. They don't need to change me. No one needs to be changed. This is very mature vibes. We have protection guardian. Drop your shields. They're get finally comfortable enough to uh, um, express some feelings, and they they want to make you comfortable enough to do the same. They're very protective of this union, very protective of you. Broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. There, there's some kind of brokenness in this relationship that they really want to fix. Whether it's um, anger, whether it was fighting, whether it's distance, whether it's karmics, it doesn't matter. They want to fix it. They're very thankful for this connection, especially spiritually, because you did um, make them wake up. But they're thankful for feeling this in love. Cour courage, boldness, yeah. They're feeling strong and they're gaining that courage to come forward and I think express some feelings. Or at least tell them how upset they are that um, they were rejected. They're taking leadership in their life, though. They're focusing on themselves. They're trying to make themselves happy. They're not looking to you for acknowledgement or fulfillment. We have child nature. Okay, so they could have children. They could be nourishing their own children or they're healing some kind of inner childhood wound. The damsel, they're going through something hard. I think they do want you to um, come in and save them in some sense. Um, or they just want to play the damsel so that you'll come in and save them. In a uh, like sexual way, <laughs> um, Hadantis. So this is somebody very um, spiritual, and I think they're trying to find ways to heal and transmute. They're, they do things differently, which nothing wrong with that. What are they surrendering? Surrendering your fear of change. This person is scared to leave their comfort zone, scared to let people in, scared to love, and so they're transmuting that. They're like, I need, I need to be able to be in love. I need to be able to express love. I need to stop letting fear rule my life. They're surrendering the worry of losing you or thinking back about what happened and why and tearing themselves up about it. They're just trying to be calm, cool, and collected. And they're surrendering to the passion. The sexual energy, I think they tried to deny or move away from or at least showing you that. And I think now that they're realizing that, you know, sex isn't the evil everybody thinks it is and it's not going to really damage anything and I think they're realizing that at this point it's not going to go away they might as well give into it a win-win outcome is forecast this is justice they do feel like you're going to leave the karmic and come back they do feel like you're going to have a second chance they do feel like apologies are going to be made peace is going to be made yeah, expect powerful change. Yeah, that they expect union. They expect this to come into fruition, and they feel like it. That time is now because they're they're gearing up to take action here, or they're hoping the divine masculine will take action. We just had a moon in Aries, so could have been around that time. For chance to dream, um, this is what their shadow work they're working on is. They're not trying to be practical in their mind space. Like they're allowing themselves to dream of a family with you um, without being like, oh God, this is cheat. You know, or they're embracing their emotions. Envious gluttony. They're trying to work on the fact that they seeing you with the karmic bothers them. It gives them pain. It makes them feel less about themselves. It, it brings up the feelings of rejection all over again for this person. Um, so they're really trying to dead that. Yeah, they're trying to let go of anger and being chained to you. I think they are feeling at this point you're still with the karmic. So in my opinion, they're trying to cut ties with you in a healthy way, even though that in itself is breaking their heart too. We have contemplation very much in their mind. Is this meant to be? What what signs am I not seeing? They're trying to make a logical assessment of how you feel. Are you happy with the karmic? Are you happy in your life? Is this something I need to let go of? Is it real? They're asking a lot of questions. They are making progress. 
they did say damsel and like going through something hard. I think it's very slow moving, but they're they're working their way through it. Yeah, new start, new cycle with this world. The world is opening up. This is also could be pregnancy or um, wanting to have children here. The sun, they feel nothing but positivity and happiness about you and their future. You are their happiness. You are their chosen one. It's the most positive card in the deck. Um, we have a ton of action. You're working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life. Be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. Straining to make others happy can be harmful to your health. So they're taking action and decluttering their life and getting more organized and more responsible and figuring out the delicate balance of this is how much I'm going to put into my career and this is how much I'm going to put into my family. And, you know, it's not always going to be even, but they're learning to delegate. Messenger of action. Something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going. Although you may feel insecure, do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated by life who wants to try everything. I feel like this is Divine Feminine's energy. They're getting out of their comfort zone. They're going after projects they're going after endeavors that they probably have denied themselves they're becoming more ballsy and more independent which is good they're facing their darkest fears right now holy shit like they really are going through something very hard yeah they're confronting their shadow work they could be confronting bullies confronting um their emotions and wounds that they shoved down for years they're speaking their truth, though, in this time. Speaking a lot of truth. They do feel very alone in this connection and in life in general. Um, feeling very isolated. But they're trusting the divine and they're trusting that this is all going to work out. For the divine feminine, I do feel like there's a little bit of codependency here that's unhealthy and attached to the karmic, but I don't feel like this is an unhealthy relationship. I think they just need to process the rejection and then you'll, you'll be on more of a solid footing because I do see this divine feminine doing the work and becoming a better person. So I wouldn't give up on this divine feminine. I wouldn't say that this person is toxic. I do think they struggle with jealousy, um, with you and the karmic, but this is something they're recognizing, which is good. And they're like, well, that's not right. I need to do something about it. So that's what they're doing at this time. So I think it's in a healthy direction. And I think if anything, this might be um, helping with their ego. Because a lot of why people feel rejection is because how could anybody turn me away? It kind of humbles you a little. So that could be humbling in a good sense for the Divine Feminine. All right, let me make sure I write down your Divine Masculine time before I get into this. 54. All right, Divine Masculine, let's get into your fortune cookie tarot. Are you happy with them? I just need to know. So the Divine Feminine could be with a karmic as well. I'm very hurt about what has happened. I cry myself to sleep. I'm not ready for you. So they're dealing with something with their karmic, a lot of rejection. They might have been stabbed in the back, cheated on. Yep, we have Runner. They ran from this connection. They're openly admitting it. I stalk you on social media. So yeah, this Divine Masculine is definitely watching you, Divine Feminine. Good news on the way. Ooh, you might get some positive um, news from your Divine Feminine or about your Divine Feminine. <gasps> Communication happening soon. Yeah, they might reach out. Standing in my power, Divine Masculine, stepping into that Emperor, Empress energy, fighting back here. I'm very shy around you. <laughs> this is why they're stepping in their power. They're trying to gain confidence. You hurt my feelings. I'm so upset with you. I feel like there's some angry words because of the rejection, Divine Feminine. You have my heart. You always did. They don't, it was never really about the karmic. I think the karmic was just their way of rejecting you because they were scared and they wanted something a little bit easier. 
The secret is, I do like you back, but I'll not be admitting it right now. Yeah, they're not ready for you. They're, they're um, still dealing with stuff with the karmic and with themselves. You cheated on me with them. It broke my it broke me apart and shattered my whole world. So this, if you didn't cheat on them, I feel like their karmic did. This is referencing that they have a broken heart. They didn't see it coming. Their world was shattered. Or Divine Feminine, you actually did cheat on them. I'm not going to go there. You have made it clear that you're upset with me or what I've done. I know you're right, but I don't think you see my side of things at all. Or even try to understand what I'm going through. You don't know the real truth of the situation and you're making assumptions. For now, I think you need some time to cool down and realize if you even care to talk it through instead of yelling at me. Ooh. So maybe there's rumors that um, this Divine Masculine is a cheater or there's some kind of rumors here. Um, they feel like their name was smeared. They feel like you're listening to it, that you're not even willing to hear their side of it, that you're not going to believe them, that you've kind of already wrote them off. You can't let go of your vanity. You don't need all the money or the best of the best. You just need love and the value in that becomes more of a pull than shiny things. They might think the Divine Feminine is a little bit too 3D based or materialistic at this time. Um, or it could be their karmic. Let's get some more. Oh wow, a lot of songs came out. So, you got five songs by Masculine. You made a fucking playlist for this Divine Feminine. We have Beyonce, Drunk in Love. We woke up in the kitchen saying, how the hell did this shit happen? Oh baby, Drunk in Love. We be up all night. Last thing I remember is our beautiful bodies grinding up in that club, Drunk in Love. They are in love with you. I think um, they only admit it. To, to themselves or you when there is alcohol involved or they're reminiscing on the happy times you had. Drake and Rihanna, take care. I know you've been hurt by someone else. I can tell by the way you carry yourself. If you let me, here's what I'll do. I'll take care of you. I've loved and I've lost. So maybe they're recognizing the Divine Feminine has been cheated on, but they're just expressing Divine Feminine that you have not been treated right in love. They're very in love with you. They want a shot here. Ooh, wow, boys to men, I'll make love to you. Close your eyes, make a wish, and blow out the candlelight. For tonight, it's just your night. We're going to celebrate all through the night. Pour the wine, light the fire. Girl, your wish is my command. I submit to your demands. I will do anything. Girl, you need only ask. Yeah, they just, they want you in their bed, like now. <laughs> Divine Feminine. <laughs> Drake, Marvin's room. Cups of rosé. Bitches in my old phone. I should call one and go home. I've been in this club too long. The woman that I try is happy with a good guy but I've been drinking so much that I'm gonna call her anyway and say fuck that guy that you love so bad I know you think about the times we had I say fuck that nigga uh, don't want to say that word that you think you found and since you picked up I know he's not around ho ho they're like fuck your karma your karmic's stupid. They can't love you like I can. Bye, karmic. Hello, Divine Mask. <laughs> Bruno Mars talking to the moon. Talking to the moon, trying to get to you. In hopes you're on the other side talking to me too. Or am I a fool who sits alone talking to the moon? They're trying to manifest you so hard. Do you feel it too? Do you miss me too? Do you want me too? Hello, Divine Feminine. Send me some smoke signals. <laughs> All right, so I have some astrology here. Doesn't have to be you or your person. I focus more on energies. We have Eclipse in Leo, compassion. Um, this person, this Divine Masculine has a lot of compassion for Divine Feminine. They're recognizing that they're really going through it. Oh, kitty. Eclipse in Aquarius. They're having a spiritual awakening, this Divine Masculine. Look at that. Oh, oh. This is my divine feminine. Let your inner hero out. Heroism. They want to come in and save the day. They feel divine feminine is going through it. They want to come in and be the white knight. Moon and Sagittarius. They're discovering some truths. Freedom and adventure. 
or divine feminine you might be discovering that they're not with their karmic anymore or vice versa some animal tarot we have mouse working hard through that maze to get to you divine feminine bear they want to hibernate with you this is like i want to isolate from all of society and just stay in bed all day otter is um building building something strong um, could be building a dam to stop the the blockages and the karmics, like blocking the bullshit out of your life. How do they see you and their relationship? Almost done, Kitty, I promise. Oh, they see good friendship, share a, a sharing of interest. Ooh, but that passion, though. Hello. I mean, lots of kissing. They just want to devour you alive. <laughs> this divine masculine. They might be a musician too. This is kind of like, hey, do you like my song? Listen to it. Vibes. <laughs> All right. If they once loved you, they still do. So this divine masculine is recognizing love doesn't go away. They love me once. They probably still do. Don't psych myself out. Rita of Cassia, the patroness of impossible causes. They don't care how impossible it is or how people think like you're crazy. That person's never going to forgive you or whatever. You, whatever. They're like, I don't give a fuck. I got to try anyway. They're going for it, energy. The essence of all Buddhas. Trying to really, to really center and calm and balance so that they come in. They can be like, oh, divine feminine, let's not fight. Kitty, what on earth are you doing, Gaia? What's the matter? What are you looking for? You can't get up there. It's like she's saying, help, pull me up there. We got play, truth, and weather, natu natural events. They want to be like fresh as a daisy with all these days. Mm, my dog. Oh, my heart. Um. Wanting to let the inner child out. Have fun. Be goofy and silly with you, Divine Feminine. They want to speak their truth. I don't think they've told you um, what's going down with the karmic, how their feelings. This is, I want to tell you, ah, uh, hello there, kitty. <laughs> um, they could have natural events like literal weather events blocking their travel right now or there's a lot of turbulence in the way of them getting to towards you or there's a storm coming in their life so we have goddess prince and adventure so yeah this person is embracing their inner power feeling very sexy working on themselves prince they're trying to be romantic sweet um, noble and avenger again wanting to be that this is like I want to come in and be your white knight I want to save the day I want to protect you boss energy what are they surrendering we have surrendering to trust trusting the divine trusting it's all going to work out and not trying to stress so much surrender to play oh my god surrendering to be more youthful and not so serious which is good surrendering to setting limits Feeling the need to have a schedule, setting limits on what is going to happen or what you expect. They're getting rid of all of that, which is good. Bring love into the situation, new moon and Aquarius again. So yeah, they want to put love into this. Divine masculine's like enough coldness, enough being silent. It's time to show how I feel. A time to give rather than take a new moon in Virgo. So you got Aquarius and Virgo. They want to give love and not just take from you. I think maybe in the past they just took, I like, um, use like energy, like they were inspired by you, but they didn't tell you. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. So they do feel protected. They do feel safe in a relationship with you, like very trustworthy, like you're not going to fuck them over. Calling the storm. This is calling in the courage, calling in what they need to get this off the ground. Trying to call you back to them as well. The temple of my body, trying to feel better about their body, working on body image, getting their body ready for you. But they do feel very alone in the world. They feel like you've walked away. But this is um, 
what they're understanding where their codependency comes from. They have a fear of abandonment. And so they're recognizing that it's because they always felt alone. And it comes from childhood. And that's something that they're transmuting at this time. We have Recharge Your Hopes and the Moon in River. Oh, we're not doing reversals according to spirit. Okay, so they're recharging their hopes. This is them changing their thinking from this is over, it's never going to happen to this could happen, stay positive, which is good. They're seeing the truth. They have so much desire. I think they're also doing a little bit of moon magic here. High Priestess, highly intuitive connection. You play very very much in the 5D. They see wish fulfillment. They see everything. This is all that in a bag of chips. You are their wish come true, Divine Feminines. Almost done, Kitty. Open your heart. Allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time. And now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. This Divine Masculine, opening their heart, going for it. This is taking a very happy turn. Ten of thought. A situation that's been troubling you has come to an end, and you can breathe a sigh of relief. With the changing times ahead, you, and you can now move on. Oh my God. Why can't I read? With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. I feel like they're moving on from the karmic. It's important to fully let go of this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addictions or codependent issues. That's both of you. I feel like, whoa, you're both, yes. <laughs> getting rid of yuckiness. They're getting rid of that codependency of needing someone. They just need themselves. And, and I think they do need the divine feminine but it's not like they're putting their whole life on the hold, if that makes sense. This person is healing. I feel like they're going through a divorce or something or a separation. They're rebuilding, rebuilding, what the fuck? Rebuilding their life or image in some sense here. They're making big moves. I think they're moving away from karmic energy. They could be moving closer, making moves as in I'm putting my heart out there. Um, their dreams are coming true right now. Um, something they've manifested or you are their dream come true. And they're trying to master their anxiety and stress so that they can come and tell you how they feel. So this, this divine mask on is seem, has started off a little rocky, but right now I feel like they're in a very solid place. They're about to take action. This is extremely healthy. This is where you, you want your divine masculine to be before union. So yeah. This is a really solid connection, probably the most solid out of the three, so good job picking the unicorn. <laughs> um, thank you so much. If this resonated, if you liked it, if you want more of them in the future, please give me a thumbs up below. If you like my energy, like how I read, please subscribe. All of this does help me grow, and I appreciate it, and I love all of my subscribers for being on this journey. I don't say it enough. I love, love, love you all, and... Don't forget, on Friday, I'm announcing the giveaway, so look forward to that little bloop pop-up video. I'm going to describe how you win, what you're winning, what's it for, all that good stuff. It will be posted sometime on Friday. Thank you so much. Now, I don't have Fridays off anymore, so it might be around like 6, 7 p.m., but it's Friday. We can all stay up a little late. <laughs> I love you all. See you all again tomorrow. Oh, boy. Go whoa, what the fuck? Hi kind of screeches that Good boy <laughs> Goodbye guys. My computer is possessed because I hit stop and then it just came right back on. Let's try this again. <laughs> Bye guys. Have a good day. It is Taco Tuesday, but I had tacos yesterday, so it's chicken Tuesday for me. Bye guys!